hey y'all it's queen so i'm here again with my second vlog video i'm here to basically share my experience with you all um i kind of reached out to instagram because i was kind of in between what i was going to make my first video about but when i reached out to instagram they said that they wanted to know about travel nursing so i have only been doing travel nursing for six months but I've learned so much along the way that I kind of want to share with you all. Um, and I hope that this video is very informative for you all and kind of helps make your transition into travel nursing a little bit more easier. Or if you're already a travel nurse, hopefully these tips can help you become a more effective traveler. So as we touch bases on travel nursing, I have four tips that I think that will really help. And I wish I would have known these before I even started travel nursing. So we're gonna start with number one, um, never get too comfortable. So as a travel nurse, you are very comfortable most of the time because you're making a lot of money. You're not really thinking about the ins and outs of things because your recruiter is most of the time working on those things for you so with that being said um for instance if you get offered a position and you have the option to do day shift or night shift and those pay packages are the same you need to question that because night shift should always get paid more than day shift so you need to open up your mouth, ask questions, because sometimes your recruiters won't tell you because that money that they're not offering you, they're keeping for themselves. So just always, you know, be an advocate for yourself as well as open up your mouth and ask questions. Um, next, in the topic of never be too comfortable, when it comes to working with an agency, you're not obligated to one agency. When I first started travel nursing, um, I kind of reached out to different agencies because different agencies work with different hospitals and I was getting callbacks from everybody like daily calling me telling me they have positions that they needed filled and I was just kind of overwhelmed because I was like hey like I'm talking to four different people and I don't know if this is okay I don't want to be shy see I want to be loyal to one company but at that point I hadn't really you know picked a company yet so with that being said you do not do not have to be loyal initially to one company you weigh at your options you figure out what hospital you want to work at you ask that agency are they contracted with that hospital and then you pick your agency based off that also um you can kind of compare the pay packages between different hospitals that they do work with the same hospitals you can compare the pay packages for the different agencies and with that being said if you want to go with the one that pays the most it has the greater benefits then you can do that but never ever let a recruiter tell you that you have to stay with them and you cannot, you know, explore your options. Okay, so number two, um, as a travel nurse, you are making a lot of money, but um, like I say, too much money is never enough money. So you should always have a side hustle. So with the money that you're making, you can always invest in yourself if you wanna do that and start a, you know, business, become an entrepreneur, or you can even invest in stock or do something. Just don't just be a travel nurse alone. Like pick up a side hustle. Um, with that being said, during my first assignment, I kind of was working that one job. And even though I was making an adequate amount, I kind of still felt like I was only working three days a week. I had so much time on my hands and yet I had time to explore the city. I still realize that I had so much time that I could be making extra money. You know, it doesn't have to be the same specialty. So I went ahead and looked into different options. Um, here now, I'm working part-time at a medical spa. Um, we do IV infusions for different things such as cold and flu, hangovers, um, sinuses, jet lag fatigue, and it's very low stress. So as I'm working my very stressful assignment, I have a part-time job that I work one to two days a week and I'm making, you know, passive income come because it's very low stress and I really like that because it's like I get paid from two different places and next as travel nurses we have the opportunity to work per diem or PRN so if you do want to work into your specialty and you just want to work at a different facility within this you know span of time you can go work at a different hospital in the same specialty different specialty it doesn't matter just pick up a PRN job part-time job or something also per diem I'm working as a set nurse so a lot of people don't know what that is and I'm just gonna give you all a quick summary of what it is it's basically if an infant is in a TV show um, me as a nurse I go on the set and I assess the, the patient the infant and I intervene if anything goes wrong 
nine times out of ten things don't go wrong so with that being said an infant can't work more than two hours so that per diem work that i'm doing i'm literally there for two hours working and then i'm done so kind of with traveling you don't work as often so utilize that time to make some extra money like why not okay so number three this is like the biggest thing ever when it comes to traveling you need to know your unit um it's so crazy to me because as a traveler you're expected to know the things that these other nurses know that have been there for years months who have had weeks of orientation and you only get two days two days of orientation and just imagine all of the things that you have to know um, whether you're laboring delivery if you're med surge icu these are things that you need to know in order to effectively care for your patient so with that being said um you definitely need to know your rooms you need to know your unit you need to know where things are at things are so different at different hospitals and it's you can't you can't learn everything in two days so you kind of learn as you go and that's probably in my opinion why travelers get paid so much because you're very uncomfortable um majority of your contract just because you don't know the simple things that you need to take care of your patient and you're learning every single day so with that being said what i do and what i have started doing is basically i would come up with a list of questions to ask my preceptor within those two days or throughout my duration of my contract and those questions i answer those because if i don't i kind of become kind of lost so my little book it's really small you can get i recommend getting a smaller one that's more compact something you can like stick in your pocket but mine's is this big because it was cute and i wanted to buy it but basically i have questions the simplest questions you can think of like what iv pump do you use what iv tubing do you use what angio caps like you may think that these things are so simple but they're different at every hospital and i can't even begin to explain to you how difficult it is to you know just transition to every hospital and just realize that they work with different things um quick for my labor and delivery travel nurses one thing i would say is no matter if you have a c-section scheduled on your orientation or if you are um, not presented the opportunity to go into the operating room the day that you have no patients or you have some free time even if you have to stay over you need to go and you know oriented orientate around that or because every or is different granted every or kind of has and uses the same material but you need to know down to the t where things are at granted when you get into a c-section you may completely forget everything but you were kind of familiar with everything to the point that if somebody tells you to hey go pick this up or go get this you are able to go find it without being just completely lost um it is going to be times that you know you feel incompetent and you feel very lost and you know also discouraged but you just have to realize that nobody can expect for you to know everything in two days yes you need to know you know your core skills and core information as a nurse but when it comes to actually, you know, performing things and knowing where things are at when it's like a rare case, nobody can fault you for that. So don't get discouraged. Don't let anyone make you feel incompetent because you are competent. Because if you weren't, then you want to be in this position that you are right now. And then also like quick advice. Um, as a travel nurse, when you start your first assignment, my advice to you would be to stay with someone that you know, like move to a city that you know you know someone and you can like just stay in their room, one of their rooms, and you know, slide them some rent a month and kind of you know save some extra money because once you start to make this money you don't want to just be spending it on these luxurious apartments that are furnished that you have to get furnished or subleasing you can kind of start off on top and you can pocket that housing stipend um whether it's a city that you have an auntie a mom a best friend a sorority sister like utilize that and you know slide them some money so last but definitely not least um number four just with your travel assignments live your life like explore i don't care if it's in a city that you know people 
or if you don't know anyone like go out have fun most nurses most travelers they work three days a week so you have like a good four days off and how you kind of like block your schedule together you may have seven days off in a row explore that city especially if you've never been there before especially if you never lived there you will find so many fun things to do you will meet great people it's just an awesome experience overall with that being said i know i probably didn't hit all the key points that you probably were looking for and i probably did if i didn't please slide in my dms ask me questions questions because um for the videos to come i'm going to answer those and then kind of just move from there in the meantime subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram at my queen underscore underscore and also follow me on all my other social media websites and thank you stay tuned for more videos to come